Have you ever noticed how certain holidays seem to carry an invisible weight? A sense of expectation? Of joy? Or perhaps something darker? Take Easter Sunday, for instance. A day traditionally filled with the promise of spring, of rebirth. But beneath the cheerful facade, beneath the pastel colors and chocolate bunnies, a darkness can sometimes lurk. In 1975, a seemingly ordinary Easter Sunday in Hamilton, Ohio, took a horrifying turn. This quiet town, nestled in the American heartland, became the stage for a tragedy that would forever shatter the innocence of the holiday. The events that unfolded within the walls of a single house on Minor Avenue remain etched in the collective memory of Hamilton. Join me as we delve into the story of the Easter Sunday Massacre, a chilling reminder that darkness can sometimes hide in plain sight. Our story centers on James Ruppert, a 41-year-old man with a seemingly unremarkable life. He worked as a draftsman, lived with his extended family, and participated in local bowling leagues. Nothing in his outward appearance hinted at the turmoil brewing beneath the surface. The Ruppert household buzzed with activity. James' mother, Helen, a strong-willed woman, presided over a bustling family of eleven. There were siblings, nieces, and nephews, all brimming with the youthful energy that fills any large family unit. However, beneath the surface veneer of normalcy, cracks were beginning to show. James reportedly struggled with financial difficulties and felt increasingly isolated from his family. His relationship with his mother, a dominant figure, was strained. Whispers of mental instability began to circulate. James exhibited increasingly erratic behavior, prone to outbursts and paranoia. These warning signs, however, were tragically ignored or perhaps not fully understood. On that fateful Easter Sunday, a seemingly normal day filled with Easter egg hunts and family gatherings, the unthinkable happened. James Ruppert, armed with multiple weapons, embarked on a rampage that would leave a scar on the very fabric of Hamilton. Accounts of the event remain fragmented, a horrifying tapestry woven from the testimonies of those who escaped and the physical evidence found at the scene. What is clear is that James Ruppert turned on his own family, systematically killing his mother, brother, sister-in-law, and eight young nieces and nephews. Eight young lives, filled with hopes and dreams, extinguished on a day meant for celebration. The community reeled in shock. How could such violence occur within the walls of a family home? Easter Sunday, a day of renewal, became a day of mourning. The legal proceedings that followed were long and arduous. James' mental state became a central point of contention. Was he a cold-blooded murderer or a man driven to madness by unseen forces? The prosecution painted a picture of a calculating killer meticulously planning his attack. They pointed to the multiple weapons used and the systematic nature of the killings. The defense countered by presenting evidence of James' deteriorating mental health. Expert witnesses testified to his paranoid delusions and episodes of uncontrollable rage. The trial became a painful excavation of the Ruppert family's dysfunction. Hidden tensions and long-held resentments were laid bare for the public to see. The once vibrant image of the family home on Minor Avenue was replaced by a chilling portrait of a household teetering on the brink. The jury, tasked with the unenviable job of untangling truth from tragedy, ultimately delivered a split verdict. James Ruppert was found guilty of aggravated murder on some charges, but acquitted by reason of insanity on others. He was sentenced to life imprisonment, a small comfort in the face of the immense loss. The Easter Sunday Massacre remains a chilling reminder that darkness can sometimes hide in plain sight. It's a story that continues to resonate, a stark contrast to the holiday's message of hope. It compels us to question the warning signs of mental illness and the importance of seeking help. But more importantly, it reminds us of the fragility of trust within families. The Ruppert family tragedy serves as a stark reminder that even the closest bonds can be shattered under the weight of unresolved conflict and unchecked mental illness. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.